Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and first the confession. You may have noticed in the credits of recent videos I have started to refer to myself as Reverend Robbie Yates. I wish you to understand that this is actually an unearned title that I am using to hopefully bring more people to a genuine belief in Christ from my other YouTube channel. Although I have been ordained by an organisation the way that it happened which I shall be exposing through the series leaves a lot to be desired and I feel confidence is extremely on big blurred call. Reading Deuteronomy chapter 8 today, let us open God's word of prayer. Lord I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. You shall observe to do all the commandments which I command you today, that you may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which you always swore to your fathers. You shall remember all the way which Yahweh your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he may humble you, to prove you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you, and allowed you to be hungry, and fed you with manna, which you didn't know, neither did your fathers know, that he may teach you, that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth. Your clothing didn't grow old on you, neither did your foot swell. It's forty years. You shall consider in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so Yahweh your God disciplines you. You shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, to walk in his ways and to fear him. For Yahweh your God brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of springs, and underground water flowing into valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you shall eat bread without scarceness. You shall not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you may dig copper. You shall eat and be full, and you shall bless Yahweh your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware, lest you forget Yahweh your God in not keeping his commandments and his practices and his laws, which I command you today. In case you have eaten and are full, and have built fine houses and lived in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart may be lifted up, and you forget Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. He who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, with venomous snakes and scorpions, on thirsty ground where there was no water, who poured water for you out of the rock of flint. He who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers didn't know, that he might humble you, and that he may prove you, to do you good at your latter end. In case you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth. But you shall remember your way, your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as it is today. It shall be, if you shall forget your way of God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, and testify against you today, that you shall surely perish. As the nations that Yahweh makes to perish before you, so you shall perish, because you wouldn't listen to Yahweh your God's voice.